let's talk about Yahtzee probabilities. So the first probability I want to talk about is the probability of getting Yahtzee. Now, if you've not played Yahtzee, a Yahtzee is when you roll five dice and they all have the same face. So in this video, I'm going to show you the probability of all these different rolls and we'll walk through each probability step by step. So for Yahtzee, we can have all ones, all twos, all threes, all fours, all fives, or all sixes. The probability of getting the same face on five straight die, because each roll is independent, is one sixth times one sixth times one sixth times one sixth times one sixth. Simplified, that's one over 7,776. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying out each of the six Yahtzee scenarios because there's only six types of roles you can get a Yahtzee on. So all ones, all twos, again, the same probability, all threes, all fours, all fives, and finally all sixes. If you add up all the six of those probabilities, you will get six over 7,776. Using the greatest common factor of six, we can actually simplify this and we'll get one over 1,296. So that's how we get the probability of Yahtzee. Now let's move on to four of a kind. So I'll click this button. There's, so we can have four ones, four twos, four threes, four fours, or four fives. And then the six die can be anything other than a four of a kind. So what we're going to do is we'll do four ones and then a not one. And I break that out here. Ones, as we know, are one. The probability of a one is one six, but anything but a one is five sixth. So this is the probability of four ones and then not a one. We do the same thing with twos. So it's four twos and not a two, which will be the same probability. And then repeat, we repeat that for three, four, five, and six. Now, when we add up all those probabilities, we get 150 over 7,776. When we simplify that using a greatest common factor of 6, we get 25 over 1,296 as our probability of four of a kind in Yahtzee. So let's move to the next one. Next one is a full house. And if you don't know what a full house is, it's three of a kind and then a pair. This one's a little bit trickier. And what we're doing here is we're going to find all the total combinations of three of a kind and one pair divided by all the possible roles. So when we look at this, we're going to get, we're going to test out for one pair. So we can have, for example, three ones and two twos, three ones and three, three, two threes, three ones, two fours, three ones, two fives, three ones, two sixes. And then we can have, we do that for 10 different kinds of pairs. So if we take the total combination of three ones and one pair, we get times 10, we get 50. Now the combos of three of a kind with three ones and one pair times six possible die faces. So this could be three ones, three twos, three threes, three fours, three fives, and three sixes. We get six times six times six times six times six. That's 7,776. 7, we divide 300 by 7776. We simplify with the greatest common factor 12, and we get 25 divided by 648. Just to recap, we want to find all the combinations of three of a kind and then a pair, and we want to go through each die face for each of those, and you get all your combinations. Next, let's talk about a large straight. So a large straight is just one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six. So there's two options for the large straight. 
if we look at the different combinations we can have for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we get 120. And that's because we can have any number for the first die, but then the second die is limited to 4, then 3, then 2, and then the last roll is forced to be a straight number. So that's how we get this little permutation here. We get 120 possible combos of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we do the same thing for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's the same combinations. It's 120. If we add both of those possibilities, so 120 plus 120, we get 240. And then this, as you've seen on prior probabilities, it's the total possible die roll combos, which is 6 to the 5th, which is 7,776. If we take the combo events divided by the total possible rolls, we get 240 over 7,776. Simplify that with the greatest common factor 45, which you could see here on this link if you're on this page. You will get 5 divided by 162 as a probability of a large straight. Moving on, let's do a small straight. A small straight is four in a row and then any other die not included. So we can have one through four, two through five, three through six as our possible, four in a row plus any other number. Now, when we work out the combinations of that, we see that we have 960 possible combinations because one through four can be 320. And then 2 through 5 is 320, and 3 through 6 is 320. So 320 by 3 is 960. Again, we do our little calculation for the total die rolls. We know that's 7,776. And then we take the possible combos, combos over the total possible rolls. We get 960 divided by 7,776. We see... We have a greatest common factor here, which I'll attach a link to this calculator in the video, of 96. Simplify this fraction, we get 10 over 81 for the probability of a small straight in Yahtzee. Let's move on to three of a kind. Three of a kind means we have three matching die faces, and the other two can be any die. So I've, I've attached a couple examples here. We can have 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, 1, 1, 1, 2, 5, and so on. But if we use all the possible die faces, and then we include any other two non-equal die, we work that math out, and we get total combos of two non-equal die positions of 20, and then the three-of-a-kind combos we have 1,200. So now what we want to do is, because we, I'm sorry, because we have six die faces, so 200 possible three-of-a-kind combos times six is 1,200. We know we have a total possible die roll combo of 7,776, so we take 1,200 divided by 7,776. Simplifying using a greatest common factor of 48, we get 25 over 162. And finally on our list, we want the probability of chance. Chance is another term for nothing in Yahtzee. So it means you don't have a winning hand. It's a busted hand, no points. And what that means is it's the probability of no scoring rolls. So what we do is we say we take the all possible roll scenarios minus all the winning scenarios, <clears throat> and we're left with chance. So what I've done is I've went back to all six scenarios that I did up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've taken all those probabilities and I've added them together. And what I got was this. Now, what I want to say is I want to take one minus that because anything but a not a winning hand is a chance hand. Because one is also, we want to match denominators here when, when subtracting fractions. 1 is equal to 1296 divided by 1296. So when I use common denom denominators, I get 1296 minus 476 over 1296. Simplified, that's 820 over 1296. We see they have a greatest common factor for numerator and denominator of 4. 
We divide top and bottom by 4, and we get the probability of chance as 205 divided by 324. So that's it for the Yahtzee video. I want to thank you for watching. If you got comments, put them in the chat, and let's talk. Thank you.